Yo, what is up, you guys? Today we're going to be watching Nerdy Black Man Still Get No Love, The Aftermath. So, I did, like, a reaction to this, like, maybe, like, I, I think a year ago or, like, a couple months ago, maybe. I'm trying to remember. It was, like, a while ago when I did a reaction to this. The person who made this is called Flap Top uh, Chicken. He makes really good content, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he doesn't upload often, but um, definitely subscribe to him. You know, if you guys want to watch the original video, it's also in the description down below. So, I'm going to get right into this, man. Here we go. Again! Fuck you looking at, nigga! There you go. Alright, so check it out. I thought it would be a while before I released a controversial video on my channel. Making controversial videos really ain't my cup of tea, you know? I don't really like to piss people off like that. Okay, that's a lie. I love pissing people off, but I never wanted to make a career out of it. So I never thought I'd make a controversial video until later on down the line. But it turns out that that day came earlier than I thought. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking... What the fuck happened? You know, you know what's crazy? I'm kind of like, bro, I just realized two men died first. You know what I'm saying? Because there was like, there was like a race to like, which who would die first. Like it was either like EDP or like two men and two men literally died first. That's crazy to me, bro. I mean, they're both terrible people, but I was just, I just, I just wanted to point that out. There was like a whole thing I was reading like on Twitter the other day. What? Around a long ass time ago. I oh, seven months ago. Okay, so that wasn't like a year ago then. I made a video. That video was called Nerdy Black Men Get No Love. To briefly, and I mean briefly, summarize that video, I talked about how some nerdy girls, nerdy black girls specifically, be doing a bit of capping when it comes to liking nerdy men. Nerdy black men specifically. And that that that's true though. They do cap. I'm not gonna lie. I, I still stand by a statement. They they do cap. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're like any other woman like if they don't like what they see they don't like what they see like it is what it is you know how nerds everywhere <clears> were catching <throat> heat back in the day for simply being nerds i edited the video uploaded it to youtube and put a clip on twitter now for a few months everything was fine that was until you beautiful people decided to come and blow the video up seriously i i can't thank y'all enough oh damn like, really. they did really well the comments the shares y'all are making this channel freaking Y'all got me. I just remembered the last time I saw that video, I think it was probably like a, like maybe a thousand views. I think from when I, re I was trying to remember it, it had to be like a thousand views or something. Damn, that's what's up though. Me to 15k subscribers way before I'd ever thought I'd get there. Just thank you. Yes, thank you so much. No, no, why are we doing this? Can we leave Dreamy Blood of this, please? No. <laughs> But I'll save all the subscriber special video. Anyway, that good. video gained a bit of traction, and aside from a few people Damn. who disagree with me, I thought everything was cool. And then one day, I opened up Twitter. Oh yeah, nah. He he got cooked on Twitter. He had to get cooked on Twitter. I saw that I had eight or so notifications. I was like, oh shit, a nigga popping on Twitter now? I, I couldn't have been more wrong. I opened up the notifications tab <laughs> and was flabbergasted. I had one retweet, four likes, and twenty quote tweets. Damn! Fucking me up on Twitter. I'm yeah, no. If you get if you get quote tweeted, if you get ratio by quote tweets, oh yeah, you're you're getting cooked. You're probably getting cooked on Twitter, bro. Cause goddamn, every time, man, the quote tweets. He's just beating my ass, brutalizing me viciously. I got ratio. They ratioed it. Now, I yeah, they did that on your own post. Back when I made that tweet about tipping, but that paled in comparison to this. Shit. On that tweet, I got maybe two, possibly three quote tweets. Now I got 20 niggas curb stomping me. Not to mention the niggas who replied to the tweet itself. Here, let's take a look at some of those tweets and better observe this ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've seen that video too, where the bitch, where the, that, that one girl is just beating up on her head. I've seen that video. That shit is so old. God damn, that shit's old. Oh, she kicking him too. Definitely, she kicking her too. You. Maybe you need to relevel your character and put more points into personality. IDK. Hey, I'm trying, man. Hey, yo, is that a persona reference? What, what the? <laughs> the social stats? It sounds like a persona reference. It's a grind out here. I DK bud. It sounds like a skill issue. I got a bad bitch from showing her my dueling lightsaber. All right, he's capping. I feel like some of these are cap. Yeah. It, but no, yeah, if that's no. what happened to you, I'm proud of you, my boy. You just not him. Being a nerd never got you. any cheeks. I just said that, Black. Are you listening? What are you playing a prove Who is that? This? this nigga in particular really didn't like my video. Imagine getting on YouTube making a whole video about how broke, miserable, and lame you are. The dude who asked him who he was talking about account got suspended, but he responded with this goofy ass nigga. Yeah, at me next time, bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking with you, man. Come on now. Now, I decided to do a voiceover <laughs> for this tweet personally. Okay, well, that's you. I was raised around two nerds alongside my brother and mother of us have 
Mother of us have had issues with being nerds when it comes to dating. I don't know, maybe you're just a walking red flag and you can talk women who like anime and video games calling them fake fans? Now I found this tweet interesting for two reasons. The first reason being is the person who made it, um, ooh, um, she kind of bad though. Listen, honey, I believe you and I got off on the wrong foot, you know? Allow me to take this opportunity <laughs> for you to get. Wait, no way, son. He's trying to get with her in a video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Reacquainted, per se. Looking through her tweets. Oh! Oh, you a freak! Well, listen, Sashomaru, maybe when I need to get together and um, I can show you my Tetsaiga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe you can get a load of my wind scar. You feel me? Alrighty, bro. Enough with the Inuyasha stuff. This is this is a little much now. Okay. <laughs> P.S. I absolutely will not reply to your sexual advances. I'm a person and I deserve respect. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this video, bro? What's happening right now? <laughs> oh shit. Damn it! Another reason I found this <laughs> interesting was because this seemed to be a running theme among the people who were responding to me. I found it funny how all these people what? were able to immediately come to the conclusion that I was some gatekeeping, weirdo, misogynistic, unhygienic incel without ever having interacted with me at all, with their only impression of me being a 35 second clip on Twitter. Which is why I promptly responded to her with this. Miss, you don't know me from a random nigga on the street. How are you able to extrapolate me being a walking red flag from a 35 second clip of me saying, being a nerd hasn't gotten me a girl this touches on something that i want to talk about later in the video so we ain't gonna talk about it right now oh i almost forgot you know the girl whose tweet i featured in my original video the one who inspired this whole thing the one who couldn't figure out how to push the right stick to the left what do they want me to do to the left hello to the left now y'all wait did she actually respond uh other way I'm so stupid. Yeah, uh, she saw the tweet. Ah, I then found the lame nigga, y'all. Oh! <laughs> I'm lame? <laughs> There's more tweets. A lot more tweets. But some of them aren't worth responding to, and I want to save some other ones for later in the video. But all of the jokes and quote tweet ass weapons aside, there were some comments that people made about my video that I really want to address. Some of them were valid concerns, some were misrepresentations, and some were straight up asinine assumptions and people intentionally missing the point. So allow me to take this opportunity to set the record straight. Check it out, y'all. All right, so right off the bat, one of the first things I want to clear up is the conventionally attractive soliloquy towards the end of the video. Women, be honest. You do not like nerds. You like conventionally attractive dudes who just so happen to be in the nerdy stuff. There is a difference between a nerd and a conventionally attractive man who happens to like nerdy things. A few people pointed this out and took issue with it, and rightfully so. I could have worded that a bit better. I wasn't trying to say that being conventionally attractive makes you less of a nerd. You can still be sexy and be a nerd. I mean... Lord knows I am. Man, you corny! I differentiated the nerdy <laughs> niggas from the conventionally attractive nerdy niggas to drive the point home that a guy simply having nerdy interests and hobbies doesn't make them attractive even though women will tell you otherwise with statements like nerdy ass black men be so fine. A statement like that implies that the black man being nerdy alone is what makes them attractive and in the experience of me and niggas like me, don't worry we'll get into experiences later. That simply isn't the case. The nerdy interest in hobbies alone ain't getting you the box player. That's why I said a girl has never busted down for me sideways because I told her I liked anime or that I liked video games or that I liked. I differentiated the two because being an attractive nerd makes all the difference. That brings me to my next point. Some people were questioning what my definition of nerd was. I never gave a specific definition in my video. The closest you could get to is when I said I possess unconventional hobbies and interests such as anime and video games. I myself am a black nerd. I am an African American male who possesses unconventional hobbies. That's what I thought. I thought it was like anime like specifically. Anime and video games. But I never gave an exact definition because I didn't think I had to. The amount of people who were upset with my definition of nerd was minuscule, so the majority of people who watched the video had to have understood what I meant when I said nerd. If you really want my definition of nerd, I mostly align with the Google definition. It was just humorous to me when I saw people saying that I wasn't a nerd, but that I was a geek, and then proceeding to explain the difference. What's funny is, Google's definition of nerd and geek are damn near interchangeable, but whatever. If you insist that I'm a geek rather than a nerd, then be my guest. I ain't gonna stop you. Another- That's what I was saying. Isn't geek and nerd, like, very similar? Like- why the fuck are people changing definitions of things? This is like the whole thing with the pronouns. Like, niggas can just call themselves Z and X or whatever. Like, it's just, I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. People, I don't know. I feel like people just change, 
like a lot of definitions now and then like the whole like definitions are so persecuted by people these days it's just like people just keep changing shit people were questioning my choice to focus on black women in my video addressing this one is very simple i can only talk about what i know i was raised around black people grew up around black people and know a lot of black people you know true I'm yeah. a nigga myself in the context of the video i only ever had these experiences with other black people i was only ever called weird and lame for my hobbies and interests by other black people a vast majority true. of the time yeah. i was getting shot down by nerdy black women that i was interested in. yeah no people people no this is so true though because from my experience when i watched anime and stuff like when I was a kid, people think that like the whole bullying anime isn't true. That it was that was very true. I wasn't bullied, but like I a hundred percent got teased. Like I think I would say on a daily fucking basis for watching anime. Like I wouldn't say bullied, but when it comes to teasing, yeah, I got teased a lot about it. You know, because I wouldn't I wouldn't say bullying because like like I'm like fucking six two. Who the fuck's gonna bully me? <laughs> <laughs> but like i'm just saying like i definitely got teased for it you know what i'm saying there was like shit talking and you know it was just they were just like saying shit you know but like people people really did actually get bullied for watching anime back in the day and like maybe not the mainstream stuff but like if you watched anything else that wasn't like mainstream or like anything like like you would like bro you would you would get teased for that shit like to hell and, and like i don't know the whole thing with the whole nerdy like women and stuff it's like i i feel like I, I feel like in a way we're all shallow and like if we don't like what we see we don't we you know we just don't like what we see i feel like we're all just like different from that standpoint so I, yeah i do believe in when he says like oh nerdy black women aren't really like they don't really like nerdy black men which is like i think that's true because like i think by his definition of nerd black dudes maybe he like thinks like they're not like attractive or anything which is like or or whatever you know but i feel i feel like in general like and from my experience, I have never met a nerdy person that liked me in general. So I I, I don't know. So and I was raised around. And I wasn't just a raised around black people. I was raised by around like um, I was always around like white and black and like all types of race because I live in like a suburban neighborhood. So yeah who shared the same hobbies and interests as me even though they said they like nerdy black men i then saw these same girls turn around and go for dudes who were usually the opposite of what they said they liked sometimes they were even the opposite skin color as me but that's not that's not important right now on top of that i only ever see black women holding these discussions about being attracted to nerdy black men i'm almost certain a white woman ain't never made a viral tweet about nerdy black men because i know her twitter wouldn't live to see the end of that conversation but since i brought up black women i have to that's say true. this before everybody starts beating my ass again <laughs> Despite me never making the claim that all nerdy black women don't like nerdy black men, people believe that I was saying this and that this was the point of my entire video. The point of my video was that being a nerd and having nerdy hobbies and interests is not going to get you any hoes, even from the ones who say they like nerdy men. And I just wanted the women who say stuff like that to just keep it real. However, if you are a nerdy black woman, or even a nerdy woman in general, and you do like nerdy men, meaning that these men having nerdy hobbies and interests alone is enough to get you interested in them, congratulations, you are not who I was referring to in my video i was referring to the girls who say they like nerdy men but their type of nerdy man looks like this the ones who say they like nerdy men but a man being a nerd isn't what makes him attractive the funny part about all this is the girl whose original tweet i featured agrees you agree <laughs> I thought so. Very embarrassing. Niggas mad nobody wanted to fuck him in high school and still don't want to fuck him now. Oh, you set yourself up. <laughs> she really set herself up. What? That's that's actually kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. That damn. Damn. Nah, you set yourself up. That's insane. How did you do that? <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> Someone pointed out the end of my video to her when I was talking about regular nerds versus attractive nerds and said All that bashing you did in the beginning Just to agree <laughs> Oh my fucking god Complete waste of time <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked <laughs> Okay, now, now hold on, hold on I, I wouldn't say I was bashing you I already said I didn't care that you and the other chick had an OnlyFans or a fans leave I only showed that because girls who usually post stuff like that on Twitter are usually trying to promote some shit, whether it be a YouTube, Twitch, or whatever NSFW page they got. Oh yeah, I stay away from those all the time. Always. Always. I, I think I even, oh shit, I do have a story though. That might for later though. And I said I wasn't mad at that though. I said hoes gotta eat too. Hoes gotta eat too. And if you're upset at me for saying that, then I'm not sure why you call yourself that on your own beacon. Oh my god! Hey, yo! The W word?
Why? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who describes himself as this? Oh, hell no. Nah, yeah, no, no. We. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Wait a minute. Page. Was it the Twitch clip? Was I bashing you with the Twitch clip? I mean, I, I guess. guess. Look, come on now, dog. The instructions were right there. All you had to do was go, oh, and another thing. If you're a nerdy <laughs> black man or even a nerdy man in general and you being a nerd managed to get you some cooter kitty, meaning you saw a chick, approached her, whispered in her ear, hey girl, I like anime. And she went, I can't wait to suck your dick. Listen, I just want to tell you. This is so unrealistic though. I just don't see that happening. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't see that happening like yeah you like anime you get with the chick easily like it's just it doesn't happen like that from the bottom of my heart that i'm proud of you my boy you did it you did some shit that yeah you you got you i mean if someone did do that you're like the rare fucking percentage because like i've never seen that work at all not a lot of us nerdy men could do you nerded your way into some pussy but just because it's happening to you does not mean it's happening to all of us other nerdy dudes out here. A lot of us haven't nerded our way into some coochie. Be happy that it happened mm -hmm. for you because it's hard out here for us nerds. Okay? Okay. Now, witnessing I'm all definitely one of them. Versus surrounding my video and the topic of nerdy black men in general opened my eyes to something that I had always felt but I was never able to properly articulate until now. And due to recent developments, I think this is the perfect time to talk about it. The plight of nerdy black men. All right. But before I do that, I've got some unfinished business I gotta handle with a certain someone. Hello? Hey, yo, what the hey, yo. No shot. <laughs> no shot. Ooh, we about to see. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Thank you, you're fucking ugly. You finally admitted it. Hey, sucker, nigga, whoever you are. Hey, sucker, nigga, whoever you are. I've got a bone to pick with none other than Mr. Take My V Card himself. I never thought that I crossed paths with. Wasn't he on like a red pill streak for a while? I don't know. Dude's kind of a hypocrite, to be honest with you. Daquan be switching up. That's like, it's, he's kind of like Sinego, bro. That, that nigga be switching up like always. Daquan Wiltshire until way later in my YouTube journey. And I certainly never thought I'd encounter him like this. Now, I'm sure most of you on my channel. The only reason I say that too, because he made a video about like, oh, how red pill motherfuckers take things too seriously. And I'm just like, bro, you were just on a Fresh and Fit podcast like a few months ago. And now you're just like regretting the whole red pill shit. Like, come don't on, know bro. about my beef with Daquan already. But just in case you don't, I'll give you the rundown. Back when my nerdy black men video was doing numbers, it came across the path of Daquan in which he reacted to it on one of his streams. He watched my video and that nigga was not amused. Like, at all. I don't think he laughed even once while watching it. The nigga didn't even smile. The nigga didn't even smile. Thought, like, Joke, I got called gay for nearly a whole semester. <laughs> basically, that man did not particularly, particularly, basically, that man did not particularly enjoy my take on the whole black women don't like nerdy black men topic. I found it amusing at first, but the longer I kept watching, the more frustrated I began to get at his response to me. Not because he and the chat were roasting me the entire stream, because I'm not gonna lie, some of that shit was hilarious. It was mainly because this nigga spent the entire stream sucking off his chat. Facts, facts. Thank you, facts. Because he's talking for other people. Facts. None of y'all are sitting there saying like preach or anything. I know y'all not, because y'all hear me tell y'all the God I'm speaking about. Intentionally misrepresenting and misconstruing my points, and, and this is my personal favorite, right here inadvertently proving the point of the entire video we'll get to that part in a second man i don't even know where to start this shit. uh let's just start at the beginning of the reaction and work our way down all right all right 
Okay, so in my video, I make several different points about the topic at hand. During Daquan's reaction slash response to my video, whenever he comes across my several different points, he does one of three things. He either A, ignores it and says nothing at all, or shakes his head and is just completely appalled at whatever point I just made, B, misconstrues or misrepresents it, or C, just misses the point entirely and says some that I never even said nor implied. But that, that sounds like a Daquan video, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a decline video, bro. That's why I don't like that nigga at all, bro. Because, like, every time I hear about him, it's just, like... It's like, uh, bro. Before he does it's any of that, that, I gotta same shit. how this man immediately makes a character judgment in me and instantly discovers the reason why I get no bitches, despite only having watched 53 seconds of the video. To the point to where I feel like he's definitely a black nerd. Like, nigga, why are you acting like Destiny? This thing is playing a game and doing this, bro. Nigga, you wonder why you ain't get no goddamn pussy? You literally proved this point. You literally proved this point. He literally just said that. <sighs> oh my god, dude! This is like I I never oh bro I I think people are actually really stupid in this world. <laughs> I feel like there are actual really dumb people that really exist. That was literally his whole point was that like nerdy black men really just don't get bitches like that. He literally just said it. He said, "Oh, he's definitely a nerdy black dude." Like. What? What do you like? I I don't know. I don't know. Was he disagreeing with the video or like was he agreeing with the video? Cause like now I'm confused. All right, nigga. Don't ever compare me to Destiny again. Make fun of me all you want. Talk about my afro. Yeah, getting compared to Destiny is insanity. That's insane, dude. <laughs> that dude went through a whole ordeal, bro. I I don't think anybody understands the whole Destiny situation, bro. Destiny was in like a whole open relationship. And I'm just, I'm just keep it brief. He was in an open relationship with his one OnlyFans chick or Fansly chick or whatever, like some model. Uh, they were supposed to be together for like a long time. She ends up with some dude that's just like, he, that's like more of a female than her. And you know, it kind of ruins the whole marriage. And apparently, it gets, it's Destiny's fault. You know, he turns into like I, I, the whole narrative turns into like he's like he's this abusive dude or whatever or, or some shit like that. But like, yeah, though. That shit's weird, dog. Like that whole, that whole Destiny situation is that's just wild, bro. But getting compared to Destiny's insane. I my heart would literally be stabbed in the heart. Like I, I I would, I would feel crushed if someone ever compared me to Destiny. I'm not gonna lie, that's just crazy. But um, good thing I ain't getting no bitches soon. So uh, <laughs> never gonna be in that field. Also, I'm not. I'm never gonna get with a chick that has an OnlyFans. That's just like that's not like a thing. Like because I hate OnlyFans girls. It's just like I just. It's just not gonna happen, you know. I don't want to be put in that same weird position or whatever, you know. I'm just gonna get with a normal person. I just, you know, it'll be sooner or later. Who knows? Talk about my beard. Talk about me getting no bitches. Talk about anything you want. But don't ever compare me to that blue-haired, non-lifting, skinny, fat, fast talking, Ew. smelling, cheese drinking, blah, domestic abuse committing. Though my shit with Rachel, I wouldn't have any fucking fans today because you guys would probably think I'm a fucking abuser too. Darren fucking team, because you better fucking believe I had to fucking choke her out a few fucking times. Oh. Oh, I did. I did not see that. Oh. Oh, I did not see that. Jesus, I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, um, damn. <laughs> I saw, okay. That shit got crazy. Hell yeah, dude. Cuck ever again in your life. At all of the shit he said in this video, this one pissed me off the most. <sighs> you know what? Let me, let me calm down. I ain't even a quarter of the way in yet, and I'm already heated. Now, I'm, I'm showing you their bio because I want you to get a feel for the type of people who post stuff like this. I want you to get a feel. Yeah. If that isn't fucking obvious. Okay. No, nah, the fact that she called herself like a the W word is insane. Like, I'm sorry, bro. But I... <laughs> I mean, she definitely wants to avoid men. Even even though she has a whole, like, thirst account or whatever. I don't, so he doesn't I don't, misrepresent uh, or misconstrue this point right here. My only problem with this is that he kind of condones the capping going on within tweets like this. Why wouldn't you say I love black nerds? He actually agrees with me, but for seemingly different reasons. Just like when I told y'all, when it comes down to big girls, bro, they flock to these types of posts. You say you love big girls, big girls flock because they want some love. Black nerds flock to these shits because they want some love. Find out she got OnlyFans, what they doing? They going straight over there. Niggas going straight over there and, 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 and signing up. And then, and then, and then you know, Hell no. They going, they going fucking... 
they go they gonna fucking subscribe to her only fans no and then they gonna think they talking to her and think that she actually <laughs> fuck with them. he actually kind of proves my point that girls who make tweets like this aren't doing so because they actually mean it half the time they're just doing it to farm some likes and retweets and shamelessly promote their oh okay well that that part's true i was saying no to myself because like you know i'm i'm never gonna subscribe to anyone's only fans ever that's like money being lost <laughs> You know what's funny? I, I was having a debate with someone in the conversation that I was like, I would never date someone with an OnlyFans and shit. And she was like, if you're broke, just say that. And I'm just like, why would I invest money into nudes that are like already like free online? And she's like, oh, you're just a broke ass nigga. I'm just like, what? No, I just don't want to invest money. And also, I don't watch porn, period. Like, I just, I don't, I don't watch porn prawn at all i should probably just say prawn because like i don't know that might be getting me demonetized but yeah i don't i don't watch prawn like at all like i don't i don't uh, like no not at all i mean i had like the first time i've ever watched prawn was just like in middle school and like i never did it again after that because like i realized how tired and exhausted it made me when i was a kid because like my early years as a kid like obviously i had a curiosity for it you know like everybody has a curiosity for prawn and stuff like it's it's a normal thing right so i'm not you know it's it's a normal thing it's human fucking nature but yeah i didn't like the way it made me so i was just like all right i'm just i'm never doing this shit again because like you know it, it it makes you exhausted i'm not gonna lie to you like as a kid like it made me really really exhausted so i just i stopped doing it but <clears throat> yeah getting into the only fans point yeah i'm never dating someone with only fans nor am i ever supporting anyone with only fans i'm just like no no i don't i don't i don't know i just think it's prostitution in my opinion because you're giving them money you're giving them you're giving them income for to just to show themselves in in decent ways i just i don't i don't like it their twitch only fans youtube or some other shit they got going on the seems to look at this as a no-brainer why wouldn't you but he's right though the literally like the entire like the, the, the entire like one sequence like he literally agreed with him <laughs> but in his own petty way make a tweet praying <clears throat> people desperate for attention from the opposite sex nerd ass nigga but like that's why i don't like the quan anymore because like he always agrees with somebody but it's just like accidentally in his own pettiest way like it's just it's annoying to watch the quan no nah 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 jazz dude no, nah, I can't even hold you. She really does. Yo, Jazz, dog, she was at DreamCon and everything. I know her. Nigga, she loves, like, niggas who are all in the anime. Well, she's not playing. She got the OnlyFans, too, but she really does. Hey, I ain't saying she doesn't. All I'm saying is that the common denominator when it comes to posts like this is... But I don't want to date with... I don't want to date a bitch with an OnlyFans, though. Why the fuck do we have to... Like, why, why is everyone... Why is everyone doing OnlyFans now? This is so annoying. Why can't... Why can't women just be fucking normal? <laughs> It's like, I'm sorry, but it's like, it's so annoying, bro. Like, I get it. Out of high school, you know, you want some money, you want the bag. But why can't you get a normal job and just be a normal damn person? Like, that annoys me. Like, just be a normal nigga. Be a normal woman. Like, damn. Like, I just, like, uh, everyone's got to, like, show their body, bro. I think I'm going to just tell that story, bro. So, I was at um New York, right, um for Anime Con. And I was vibing with this one girl. I was talking to her for a little bit. And then I found out she had an OnlyFans. I'm just getting straight to the point. Because, like, we were talking about, like, Bleach, Naruto, all that type of stuff before any, like, anything. And this was at Anime Con and stuff, like, right? It's, like, Anime NYC. So she had, like, an OnlyFans and stuff. And I didn't know because, like, you know, she was kind of, like, wearing, like, fully clothed and all that. She was, like, cosplaying someone in, like, Bleach or whatever. But, um, yeah, she had, like, an OnlyFans. I was just like, damn. Nah, I can't do it. I can't. Nah. So I was disappointed, bro. I was just like, damn, bro. Cause like we were actually like getting close a little bit. Cause like we were just about to talk to each other and stuff and all that. And I was just like, nah, like it's just, it's just like, you know, finding out that OnlyFans is like, it's just like, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> so, so it was, it was painful. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was ass. I was just like, God damn, dude. And this happened at the, this happened at Anime Con and we like, like we went to the bar and stuff. We were just chilling. But finding that out, like, on the table, just like, yeah, like, I have an OnlyFans, just, like, straight up. I was just like, dude, why? <laughs> it's just like, no one can ever be normal. I don't know, man. It's just like, damn, bro. It'd be nice to meet someone that doesn't have an OnlyFans. I know, I know not everyone has an OnlyFans, but it's just like, I don't know. That one encounter was just like, fucked. I was just like, well, 
shit. It's <laughs> a woman and an OnlyFans or Twitch or YouTube or on Instagram. Look, I'm just saying, when you see a chick on Twitter make a post like this, a promotion usually comes right behind it. And Jazz over here didn't even promote her OnlyFans when she made this tweet. And neither did Dej. Dej? Is it Dej? Daej? Dajay? Uh, fuck it. Like I was saying. Well, I don't believe that either of these women are dumb. I'm confident that they are aware that when they, two relatively attractive girls. Uh, no, stop, 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 stop. 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 Two relatively attractive Stop. girls post some no. shit about anime, video games, or some other male dominated hobby. Niggas, nerdy black men, or I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they try to just garner a fan base. I don't know if they're really truthful to that, to be honest. I feel like they know what they're doing. That's why I think that that's that people a lot of people think only fan girls are stupid. I think they're actually pretty damn smart to an extent. Because they're the only women that could like garner many views on a one tweet just by doing a simple thing showing a you know a perfect nipple or like a, you know like a, a butt shot it's just that easy they do in the replies all the time i literally go on like some other dudes of replies of a content creator and be like oh um uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm driving my car or some shit and then there'll be some bitch in the, in the reply be like oh uh ride me instead and it's just like what the like what it's just the most random shit and sometimes the motherfucker would actually get like ratioed in the reply and it's just like it's insanity and i'm just like bro what like it's just i don't know bro it's it, it's it's it, twitter is an interesting place i i refuse to call it x because i what the fuck is x right nerdy men in general for that matter will see this and immediately click on their profiles which is exactly what i did when i first saw the tweets this probably explains why jazz is pinned i always click on industry uninterested every time and i'm not saying this because i'm like not trying to be special but i just like i just don't like it personally i just i can't it's just it's gross to me tweet is her promoting her only fans along with a video where this girl is damn near oh naked she's so scantily clad bro. that i can't even put this shit in my video and y'all know oh how i like to edit but i didn't God, click on bro. their profiles because i'm some horn dog or some shit <laughs> I did so to see if the age-old proverb is true or not. And that age-old proverb stems from the book of Nigelations, chapter 18, verse 7. The proverb reads, If she posts about liking anime, then an OnlyFans is surely at bay. Can I get an amen? Nine times out of ten, this proverb rings true. Try it out the next time you see a tweet like this. Now, this is nothing personal against these women. I don't have a problem with either one of them. Days even call me cute. The thing is, he's not even ugly. <laughs> yeah, so I, I haven't seen him, and I, 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 I actually have not seen him. I don't know why this video was made. DreamCon. I'm going to DreamCon next. I'm going to DreamCon in uh, July. I can't wait for DreamCon, bro. I'm excited for DreamCon. I meet all types of people. I just told none of them the white fans. <laughs> I'm walking away. <laughs> if my personality wasn't like what exactly? It never ceases to amaze me people's uncanny ability to download your entire personality when you say something that they dislike or disagree with. Especially when you're talking about women. Oh, uh, well maybe if your personality wasn't like this. You get some bitches on your dick. Hold up. Daquan, you said jazz what the is hell? A Good thing I'm planning on going to DreamCon next year. Anyways, I was just using this these year. two ladies as an example. Wait, he's going to DreamCon? Damn, everyone's going to DreamCon, bro. Nah, this shit's gonna be crazy because I'm gonna be in Texas. It, it's gonna be my first time being in Texas. Oh, shit. Nah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Because <laughs> I already went to Anime NYC and I met like all types of fucking people, dude. I was just like walking around and shit, just meeting people all day. But yeah, I was there for like three days. But, but Texas? Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun, bro. I cannot wait. All too prevalent when it comes to this topic, because if you've grown up as a nerdy black dude, as I have, you would know that black women would not touch you with a ten-foot pole. But I'll talk about that later. Back to the. Yeah, see, this just be certain type of nerdy niggas. It's because y'all niggas be dirty and stinking and shit. Y'all niggas be looking really weird. That's why. Here we go. Now, I for one cannot stand when people say shit like this about nerdy black men. Y'all just dirty. Y'all just stank. Y'all just ashy and had bad haircuts. Y'all don't know how to dress. But doesn't that mean they don't like nerdy black men? Like, doesn't that prove his entire point? I feel like this just improves his entire point. Like, I don't understand... I don't, I don't get it. People on Maybe the other side here. of this argument love to spam the y'all were just dirty and weird card in order to invalidate and nullify other arguments. So that actually makes it a lot worse. <laughs> this is so much worse. Yeah, you were a dirty ass nigga. You wore glasses. You wore them long ass socks. Them long ass shorts. That's why nobody liked your ass. You nerdy ass nigga. 
That literally proves his entire point. I don't. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Similar statements include y'all be gatekeeping and quizzing girls about anime. Do you really like anime? When's the first time Goku died? How many names do like y'all can be right in the death note? Y'all be Naruto running in the hallways and going Super Saiyan in the lunchroom. It beat them niggas. Okay, that shit was honestly funny though. Let's be honest. <laughs> But I I remember when I when I was in school in like middle school, someone did like a whole fucking backflip, like they did like a wall backflip and shit, and they were like like enchanting the spirit bomb, like that shit was fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Over there running around, Naruto running and shit, nigga. They beat them niggas literally doing jutsu and shit in front of a bitch. Bitch go to hug him. But yo, nigga, what what is you doing, bro? Y'all call girls fake fans, like that one chick on Twitter said to me. I knocked the dust off that. <laughs> she kind of bad. Weird. Buddy, I got a lot to say about this, but it's too early for me to talk about it right now. I'll save this one for later, so put a pin in this one for the time being. Y'all niggas can sit there and say that I'm a nerd because I watch. Well, I told y'all niggas don't. I, I don't. I've never gotten called a nerd. Like, I just. I told you. I don't think I got the look of a nerd. I never got called a nerd either. I did get teased for liking anime though, but I never really got called a nerd. Yo, remember this statement. This will become very important later. I do, however, find it highly ironic that he says this about 20 seconds after I say, and all that Twitter thread ended up being was black women posting their conventionally attractive boyfriends who just so happened to be in the nerdy stuff. Now, so what's the problem? It's just too bad you don't know what it is. Oh shit. I it yet, but I myself, I myself am a black nerd. I am an African American male who possesses. We, we can tell because you won't even show yourself in the video, my nigga. <laughs> Think about it. That nigga Heavenly, he had to change up his look. That nigga Heavenly looked disgusting back in the day. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Daquan is referring to Heavenly Control. Yeah, I already know who this is. Creator. I know who he is, but I've never watched any of his content before. So when Daquan described Heavenly either. in the past as, and I quote, disgusting, I naturally became curious and decided to look at Heavenly's older content to see what he looked like before. Now, I don't know if the nigga deleted his channel, but I can't find it anywhere on YouTube. But when I saw some of his old- Yeah, apparently it got terminated, according to, um... One of my friends that know that knew heavenly not because like, i guess he like was in his server or something I, apparently he his channel got terminated for like maybe the reactions that he was watching or some shit older videos he looked pretty much the same as he does now except he had a small lamont rucker type afro mild acne this nigga daquan made it seem like he had cystic acne or some shit with the acne all over his face and shit bro just had regular average everyday acne and no beard in other words the nigga looked fine Pause. No, no, not fine as in sexy fine. Fine as in okay. He wasn't the ugliest nigga in the world. He wasn't the sexiest nigga in the world. He was just an average looking dude. But according to Daquan, that nigga Heavenly looked disgusting back in the day. Bro, why is Daquan over here hyping this shit up like Heavenly was looking like the elephant man back then? The acne all over his face and shit. Mm. Nigga looked like he was ashy as hell mm. and shit all the time. Now, but Daquan be exaggerating so. That's why I don't like this nigga, bro. He be exaggerating so much for like no reason. Like, and we just saw the fucking picture. Heavenly did not look that bad <laughs> me personally if i was heavenly i would not be taking this level of disrespect i don't think he even cares anymore i don't think i don't think heavenly even really is into content anymore i'm not gonna lie because like he he like his instagram is like I don't know. It's just like a bunch of random shit, but I don't think he just. But that's just me though. Does that's YouTube just, anymore? I'm just saying, you know, not everybody built the same. The nigga has become a lot more attractive over the years because of the things he did to change his look. He can pull a black girl, but that nigga does not fuck with black girls. I want my nerd. See, K Nine says even black celebrities love anime. And they still get women. That's fucking stupid. Being a nerd has never gotten me any pussy whatsoever. Nope. Heavenly is constantly fucking different girls. He's a nerd. He had to change up the way he looked. If Heavenly, a nerd, had to change up his look in order to get attention from black girls, then you've already proven my point. They don't like nerds. They like conventionally attractive men who just so happen to be into nerdy things. I <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. This, wow. I don't know, dude. I. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of funny to watch. To stop reacting to his response right here because this was the ultimate point of my video and you can't be upset at the points that I'm making and then turn around and prove them right. This isn't even the only time he proves my point as he does so in an even more egregious manner down the line. But if black women, women in general, but black women especially, like nerdy black men, then drastic changes to a nerdy black man's appearance wouldn't be necessary as they already embody what these women claim to like, nerds. But what was more interesting to me was what elements of heavenly controllers glow up but that's the thing, though. I do agree with him. Like, a lot of us, all of us are shallow as hell. Like, in a way, we're all shallow. Especially when it comes, especially women. Like, they, they're shallow, too. So, <laughs> what they mean by nerdy black dudes, like, they mean by, like, niggas that wear socks and, you know, the long socks and don't dress 
the the conventionally you know like they don't really have any fashion sense so i mean so they they don't like them niggas at all they like they do they like attractive black dudes and heavenly the fact that heavenly had to change his whole look like that that should make a difference in his point like i don't understand how anybody did, but doesn't specifically even made that. him attractive to black women according to the quorum do you see this nigga bro trust that shit Kadaki. i believe in you and this ain't oh, even no, his oldest shit. This I is when he actually right started taking care of himself. Oh my God. Now we getting somewhere. Of course black girls ain't fucking with this nigga, bro. And this still ain't even uh, the, the, the acne nigga. Bunch of old shit. Of course. Like, bro, do you see what I mean? Now we go to this nigga. Do you think he can pull a black girl now? He changed up his look. He grew a beard. He got dreads. He can pull a girl now. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean, nigga? That's all you nerdy niggas gotta do. Don't listen to that other nigga. Don't listen to the other nigga that you literally proved this point. I, there's no way this is real. There's no way he did this for a whole minute and proved this whole point for an entire minute, bro. That's all you gotta do, bro. Make yourself look better. Improve on your looks, nigga. It's that simple. If you don't think that they can pull bitches now, you tripping, bro. This is what you call a glow up, bro. Don't listen to that other nigga talking about that dumb ass shit he talking about. Man, black girls don't like nerds. Yes, they do, nigga. Stop being a fucking weirdo, nigga. Yeah, because you have to change yourself. That literally proves his point. He mean he meant by conventionally nerdy black dudes. Like, what he means by conventionally nerdy black dudes is like niggas who wear long socks and niggas who just don't care about their fashion sense or looks at all. Like, I, I, I just, this is like, I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't know. So, according to the Quran, the thing separating nerdy black men from a black woman is blonde tip dreads slash braids and a full beard. Small fro and a partial beard? Nope, that ain't gonna work. Larger fro and a partial beard? Hell no, nah. that ain't gonna cut it, player. You need a full beard and blonde tip dreads or braids. It is imperative that you have the dreads or braids and they must be blonde tip. Bro, <laughs> how do you know that he's saying you gotta get dreads or braids in order to pull black girls? Because he told me the same garbage. All you gotta do is cut that bullshit off, nigga. Turn that shit into dreads. Turn this into some braids or something. Do something different with it. Now, this isn't some gotcha, bitch moment. I'm pointing this out because I believe that this is indicative of a much bigger point that I want to address later in the video. Anyways, moving on. Many I thought women about to say are interested in nerds. Homeboy just has negative riz and looks like a Cooper from Bowser's Castle. Oh! Oh! Hold up. Looks like a Cooper from Bowser's Castle. I'll whoop your ass. You better get. <laughs> we didn't give a fuck. Nigga, I play Pokemon everywhere. Nigga, come on, bro. I kept the Switch on me, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga, where was that? A dream kind of shit with the Switch on me? What? What the f does that have to do with what I'm currently talking about? What does you playing Pokemon and having a Switch at DreamCon have to do with me getting called gay for liking Dragon Ball Z in school? This is another thing that people like Daquan like to do whenever this topic is discussed. People like him love to bring up their own experiences to invalidate others' experiences. The type of, it didn't happen to me, so it couldn't have happened to you, line of thinking. I don't need to point out why the- I hate that shit so much, bro. Like, I remember talking about, like, getting teased for anime, and niggas were saying, like, that's clearly not true. Like, if, I, if it didn't happen to me, it definitely didn't happen to you. Like, what type of logic is that? That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> so how does that even work, bro? Like, this line damn. Of is more than stupid, so I'm not going to. But this nigga Daquan does some peculiar shit right after this. Firstly, he invalidated my experience of getting called gay for liking Dragon Ball Z. And then when I say in my video, You didn't get bullied for liking anime. You got bullied because you Naruto ran in the hallways and tried to go Super Saiyan in the middle of class. This nigga says, That's true, nigga. So hold up. When I say I got bullied for liking anime, you and your Twitch chat say, Nah, didn't happen to me, so that couldn't be why. But when I point out people who overgeneralize <laughs> nerdy dudes by saying they all got bullied for going Super Saiyan in class or Naruto running in the halls, now it's all facts? What? Bro, how you gonna tell me what happened to me? You because you just a weird nigga. That's what it was. Damn. The other peculiar thing he does is he says this. Why would your opening line to a girl be talking about anime and shit like that? And this. What, what, what would make a girl do that? What girl you think you walking up on saying, yeah, you want to you wanna check out my game collection? And she's like, yeah, look, yeah, oh, yeah, please, please finger me, fuck me right now. But then the nigga shouts out someone oh else in his God. chat for saying that being an anime fan gets you hoes. Thank you, Beyond Oh. You didn't get bullied for liking Beyond anime. Beyond Oh. Beyond See what I meant when I said this topic was dishonest? The worst offenders of this revisionist history campaign are the girls who want to sit there and tell you, oh, y'all didn't like us back in high school. Y'all always went after all of the white girls. Hold up. Let me get this straight. So you're telling me. Where does he get this from? You know what, Daquan? That's a great question. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. This was me in middle school, and none of y'all want to 
wanna be then. Let's stop acting like black female nerds don't exist. I am the girl that gets rejected about a million times by these guys. First off, what in the hell is a hair? I, um, all right, I'm gonna stop because I, <laughs> I, I, wait, I just, I just want to know what the split end is here. Like, what? I'm gonna stop. I just, I must just stop. Like, that, that caught me off guard for a little bit. I don't know why. And let me tell you something. A lot of these black nerdy dudes are freaking liars. So you want a nerdy girl, but not unless she looks like an IG model. I'll be wanting a girl like this, and she's fucking hot. They always talk somehow black girls reject them. Black girls. They never say black nerdy girls. They always leave out their part how they will reject a lot of black nerdy girls who's on their level. But y'all are not in the same caliber as her, babe. To be fair, though. To be fair, though. From my experience, um, cause I live in the suburbs. I don't live in the, I, I've never lived in the hood in my life, but I think from my experience, I've dated like a lot of like more light skinned girls and like, than black girls. So, I mean, I've never really dated like an actual black girl. I did maybe probably, maybe there was like one dark skinned girl I did go out with, but she was just like, she had some like Indian to her and like, it was not even Indian. It was just, I don't know. Fuck. What, what is that shit from like? I'm trying to think. I don't know. She wasn't really black. I mean, she was black, but like she was just like she has like some other race to her, and it was just like I, I don't know some uh, Muslim. I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's like a I'm not. I, I don't know if that's a religion or like a how I, I don't know. She had she said she had some other shit to her or whatever. I don't know. Y'all but... wanting a girl like this, and again, you're not in the same caliber. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want a girl that looks like this. I really don't. That's gonna look so weird. Like, I don't know. And if she is pretty to you, then she's probably doing it for male attention. And although this may have been some black nerd male experience, I just have to be real. A lot of the black male nerds that I went to school with did not like black women, and they made that very clear. The black girls they wanted was the school thoughts, the ones who was most popular, or the cheerleaders, the ones who was out of their league, right? Stop pretending like black women are rejecting you, when in the in reality is, you don't want the girls that want you. You want the baddest bitch out there. It is not that we don't want y'all. I never said that. I actually ended up dating a black boy who was a nerd who was into anime and video games and all that. Y'all just didn't approach us as much. And when they did like black women, they would go for the high to Diddy, the girl that was out of their league and they knew it, the girl that would pay them zero attention or interest. And as soon as she broke his heart, he swore off all black women. Only then to make racially ambiguous and white women his preference rooted in self-hate. Why are you at the girls who you know? <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny because I've actually seen someone go through that. <laughs> that was one of my friends, bro. He, bro, it, this shit was in gym class too. So he tried to get with these uh, girls and they were like, they were like kind of average looking. I'm not going to lie to you though. They were average looking. They weren't like tens, you know, but this shit was in gym in like my freshman year. He tried to get with these group of black girls. And he, he went up, you know, he had like, he had a little, like, he looked like an average dude, but they was cooking the hell out of him, bro. They cooked him so fucking bad. And he came back from like the group area and he came back to, um, to me and he was like, bro, I'm not going back there again. I'm like, what the fuck happened? But I was like, they just, they roasted me. And I was just like, damn, dude looks so depressed and miserable after that. Like he didn't talk or nothing, bro. And the girls were just laughing on the side. I was just like, what the fuck did they do to this man? <laughs> And after that, he dated a whole white girl out of nowhere. <laughs> I thought that shit was so funny. Because <laughs> I've seen it happen. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I was like, damn, what's the rules that bad? <laughs> Bro, his entire high school life, too, he just dated snow bunnies right after that. Just kept dating like white girls. It was the funniest shit. But yeah, I mean, he was happy though. He was happy. I don't know where he's at right now though, because I, I stopped talking to him in like, I think my junior year. But yeah, no, that shit was so it's fucking not funny. not interested in what you like. Or they always leave out the part how they will always go for white girls and Hispanic girls. And if a black girl do like anime, they always deem them as undesirable. And if you want to date a white girl. Really? I don't. I don't. I, 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 no. Just Interesting. That shit. No boo, and that's why you got your feelings hurt being 30 and 40 still pissed off about something that happened in middle school. And the reality is, you probably couldn't get the bad bitch, she probably wouldn't even look your way. Stop saying that. Get over it. Heal the past. Um, we want you now. Yeah, that's cap. <laughs> that's cap. I mean, if you're making a whole video about it, 
You're capping. <laughs> it is not that we don't want y'all. No. No, no, and no, no. Date a white girl, just fucking say that shit. The fuck is he talking about, bro? The fuck are you? I mean, I like all women. You talking about? So skipping past this nigga hit me with it. It didn't happen to me. Card for the second Jesus time. Jesus Christ, dude! Another point that I made in my video. When I started to talk about the one girl who was in our esports club back in high school, who was rocking the Baraka grill. Your grill looking like you related to Jaws. Daquan. Oh my God, I miss, I miss Dashie's fucking Mortal Kombat videos, bro. Those shits were so fucking funny. Oh, I miss some bitches. Says like she had teeth that looked like picket fences. Like her teeth were throwing up gang signs. They were going. In like it don't matter. Niggas are desperate. As men, we are fucking desperate for women. It don't matter. Wow, Dequan. Not that desperate. That is not true at all. That is actually not true. I, dude, I have so many stories in high school, bro. I don't want to put them all in this fucking video. I want to put them at the end. Uh, that's an astute observation. It's almost like that was my entire reason for bringing up this story. It's like this nigga is <laughs> This man's ability to repeat the point that I just made, but louder, and as if I didn't already make the point, is uncanny, bro. I swear. But the funny part is that this comes right after someone in this chat said I had no self awareness, only for this nigga Daquan to start cheerleading for him. Facts. No self awareness. None whatsoever, bro. Hella ironic, huh? You know how many nerd niggas, like, say for instance, this nerd niggas in this chat right now, and none of y'all are sitting there saying, like, preach or anything. I know y'all not, because y'all hear me telling y'all the God honest truth about this shit. You know how many niggas probably in his comment section, like, yo, preach. This nigga spitting facts. Nah, y'all niggas just weird, bro. And this was officially the point where I got irritated and decided that I was going to actually respond to his video when I first watched it. The gall of this fat foreheaded ass nigga <laughs> to sit there and say, yeah, y'all not saying preach because y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. Never mind the fact that y'all been agreeing with nearly everything I'm saying. And I've been cheerleading for y'all when y'all say something that I do agree with for almost half the stream. Facts, nigga. Bro, facts. facts. If you look in his comments and see niggas saying preaching, them niggas just weird. It's different when y'all do the same fucking thing, though. So let me let me get this straight just so there's no confusion here. When your niggas agree with you it's because you're telling the god's honest truth when my niggas agree with me we just weird come on now dog. once again do you see how dishonest this topic is rather do you see how dishonest some of the people on the other side of this topic are you see how niggas on the other side of this argument go through hoops and bend over backwards just to invalidate <laughs> our experiences and straight up ignore our points just so they gotta do mental booty hole gymnastics in this bitch for this topic because <laughs> this shit's all over the place they can paint us as the weird anti-social fat ashy crusty rusted busted and <laughs> yeah and the lips <laughs> Grief and ridicule and rejection get wiped away just because they had some bitch watch Jujutsu Kaisen with them or some nigga didn't get bullied for like an anime in school. This is exactly why I made the video then and why I'm making this video now. Because this madness has got to stop and niggas got to start keeping it real about this. Now, here comes the part where I realize that this nigga Daquan is a dumbass and should have listened to the dude in the chat who said he should watch my video in its entirety before giving his thoughts on it. If you watch my video in full and then watch Daquan's video right after, you will probably think that he disagrees with me vehemently while watching it. I'm sure Daquan Quan himself thought that he disagreed with me vehemently, but surprisingly, the way he disagrees though is just sounds like he's agreeing with him though, because like he just breaks up the same points that he does as like in the video. Like I just I, I don't be wrong. All the shit talking he did while watching my video and validating my experiences, misconstruing my points, roasting me, nigga this, weirdo that. I watched anime and play Pokemon all the time. Never stopped me from getting any bitches. Weird ass nigga. He did all of that and spent roughly 23 <laughs> minutes reacting to a 10 minute video just to lay out and basically explain the entire point of the last half of my video. Observe. Stop you wanting to look like a fucking weirdo. A man has gotten you soaked by telling you that he's read Berserk five times. No, but if the nigga look good enough and then he says it, I guarantee you she was already soaked by the nigga's looks and didn't give a fuck that he watched Berserk, nigga. We fucking got him. All that yeah. bullshit we did in the beginning just to agree. Hey, that's a bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Dej. I don't know if you were talking about me or Daquan here. Zero Facts. Self awareness. Damn, G. You gonna talk about Daquan on his own stream like that? This nigga almost verbatim outlined the central point of this part of my video, but said it as if this wasn't the point that I was already making without a lick of self awareness or a hint of realization. And feel Moral of the story is niggas is all shallow. We shallow, women are shallow. It's just, it's just the way it is. I, I feel like we're all shallow in a way.
So, the word nigga, right, like it just is what it is. He must have that do rag wrapped too tight or something. But of course, this nigga continues to go on and on like he thinks he's completely obliterating my points or something, and then pop off when he believed that I admitted to something that, surprise, surprise, I never said. But this big monkey motherfucker can't listen for shit. Oh, so we wouldn't have realized Jesus. Anyway. So women, stop lying and saying that you like nerds. You don't. Ugly people have it rough. When you're ugly, thank you. You're fucking ugly. You finally admitted it. Holy shit. Thank you. That's all I was looking for. Fuck. First of all, <laughs> what? I, dude, I. That's not what the fuck I said. What I said was, ugly people have it rough. When you're ugly, everything you do is weird and unappealing. And I was connecting that to the point of anime taking a long time to go mainstream, not to the point of, yo, I'm fucking ugly. But like I said, he can't listen to save his life. If he did listen, he would have popped off when I said, we got made fun of for liking anime while being ugly. He would have had more of a point then. But for the third time, this nigga doesn't listen. To further prove this dumb nigga doesn't listen, there's a reason it took anime this long to go mainstream, even though anime's been out since like the 1980s when people like megan the stallion and michael b jordan started coming out talking about how much they like anime that's when anime started to become mainstream oh yeah doesn't usher like jujutsu kaisen now too i just realized that so now usher likes jujutsu kaisen like everyone's gonna start liking jujutsu kaisen like it's just like it's just a whole fucking cycle with these motherfuckers bro celebrities talked about anime and got people liking anime yeah it became mainstream because of celebrities yeah 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 Believe it or not, hell, Kanye made it freaking popular too. The hell, like, yes, that's very true. This nigga act like conventions ain't been going on forever. So conventions only start happening because Megan Stallion. What? I never said. Dude, Daquan has to be like the biggest dumbass I've ever seen in my entire life. That celebrities are the reason people like anime. Never even alluded to Megan Thee Stallion being the reason why conventions exist. No idea where he got that shit from. Here's what I actually said. There's a reason it took- Megan Thee Stallion wasn't even a thing back in the day. Anime this long to go mainstream, even though anime's been out since like the 1980s. That's because attractive people started liking anime. And when people like Megan Thee Stallion and Michael B. Jordan started coming out talking about how much they like anime, that's when anime started to become mainstream. If these celebrities weren't talking about anime anime would have never seen the light of day it would have remained underground and people would still be getting bullied for liking dragon ball z now allow me yeah. to elaborate on that the endorsement of anime by celebrities and other popular figures in the media allowed anime to make the transition into something that is mainstream meaning something that is yeah i mean even rap like even rap rap has heavily influenced like anime into the rest into like the western culture like and that cannot be denied and that's just been like going around since like the early 2000s like i mean look at kind of his old music you know he, he features some freaking anime stuff regarded as normal <clears throat> i.e something that's cool to like it's cool i mean reference some anime stuff the niggas from my hero academia or sailor moon or talks about how she likes black clover i love my hero academia i love attack on titan i love bleach of course i love naruto I'm watching Black Butler right now. I'm watching Black Clover too. I like Soul Eater. That one was fire. Okay, man, I just, I watch a lot of anime, okay? She'll get articles written on her, inspire other girls to cosplay as their favorite anime character, have entire Reddit communities talking about the shit. If Megan Thee Stallion or any other popular celebrity walked down the street with a dual disc from Yu-Gi-Oh around her wrist, people would be snapping pictures, tweeting about it, writing articles, the whole nine. Let the nigga across the street do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, this cool, is Michael funny. Jordan talks about loving to read manga. Let the nigga from down the street talk about it. <laughs> it's funny when Samuel Jackson mentions that he watches hentai. Let the nigga from around the way say that. But he's not lying though. That is so true. This is so fucking on top true. Of that, this nigga act like conventions ain't been going on forever. Nigga, just because some niggas hold a convention about a hobby they enjoy does not mean that this shit is mainstream. And I originally had a whole segment planned out where I compared the attendance of anime conventions to the attendance of more mainstream hobbies and pastimes, such as music festivals and whatnot. But halfway through, I realized I didn't need to do any of that because anyone with two brain cells to rub together can understand that people convening to enjoy a hobby does not make said hobby mainstream. Furry mm. conventions have been going on forever as well. I bet you wouldn't call that just mainstream. You niggas wouldn't get caught dead being a furry, let alone being at a furry convention but hey let's go back to reality and realize that this isn't even what Daquan thought my argument was. He thought my argument was celebrities are the reason people like anime. Well, my argument was really celebrities help push anime into mainstream. This nigga Daquan just took what I said, came to a demonstrably incorrect conclusion, and just 
I'm gonna be honest. I think in general, celebrities did help ma- like mainstream anime, like make anime mainstream into like the Western culture. I think that's true because like, like back in the day, like early 2000s, like niggas like did not like niggas watching anime or some shit. Like I, I don't know. Like people people think it didn't happen, but like it did happen. Like I was literally, I remember going to like a fucking basketball game or some shit, or not not even basketball. I was at a basketball camp and I had like um my mp3 or some shit right it was like all the anime music and stuff and like japanese and all that um jazz you know just just japanese themed shit and then when i had it played out loud on accident like niggas were looking at me like what the fuck was that like what what, what the hell was that shit like, it just sounded goofy as hell i was just like damn like whoever, whoever they was like whoever listened to that shit bro get the fuck out of here i was just like damn like I can't reveal myself then. <laughs> like, bro, I don't know, dude. Like, it, it, anything anime related in general is just like back in the day, which is you get teased and bullied for it. I mean, like, maybe not entirely, but like, it's just like there was like a select group of people that's just like, I don't know, like the popular motherfuckers, or like they were like considered like like social cool form corms in general like they were just like nah if it's ass it's ass like if they were like the popular ones that like agreed that it was ass everyone else would agree like it was ass basically like it was just like it was it was a whole dumb ass thing i I, that's why i fucking hate it most of high school because like niggas just always agree with the popular kids because they were like more attractive and shit and all that stuff it was just like it was just dumb it was dumb it was anything with it was anything with middle school too like it was just it was just fucking stupid just ran with this Anyways, let's move on to the part where this nigga proves my point once again. Look at how sad this is. This man posted his selfie talking about how he needs his. Co- I ain't gonna hold you. That's he know you know he got the pronouns in the bio, bro. You know, bro got the pronouns. Ain't no way. Thank you. I needed this confidence boost. My nigga, she ain't talking about you, bro. See, this is the thing. These are the types of niggas that be like, yo, they don't like him. What did I tell y'all? When you're ugly, oh everything you God. do is weird and unappealing. This was a thread about how nerdy black men are so fine. Yet, when this nerdy black man posts his picture in the comments, he only gets 12 likes and a nigga in the comments telling him he better go find his confidence boost because it ain't going to be in this thread. And look at how Daquan oh and the chat are cooking God. this nigga. Like I told you, that's because niggas think looks are very subjective. They're not. Look at this nigga. You fat. You Look at your hair. I know you're a weirdo. Damn. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Niggas say ugly as fuck. I'm sorry. Emo. Emo has like. Emo. Damn. That's what I mean, bro. My nigga, she ain't talking about you, bro. What? She isn't. I, I thought nerdy black man be so fine. What happened? If he read Berserk, I owe him some? Where'd that go? It's honestly crazy to me how this man vehemently disagreed with my point, only to prove it multiple times in one live stream. Man, you better go find it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Show what you look like, my nigga. Ah, uh, yes. Here comes the part where this nigga found out what I look like. Now, throughout the video, Daquan tried to make it seem like I didn't show my face because I'm ugly or something. The reason I didn't use my camera in this video was because it was supposed to just be a quick upload and I didn't want to get the camera all set up for it. But I don't do much camera and stuff in general because the camera that I had back then was hot garbage. So I'd rather just put my profile picture up instead. But I have shown my face on video before, plenty of times. Even in my first video, I showed my face. Kinda. I've even had videos where it's just me on camera. But Daquan is trying to make it seem like I'm just scared to show my face on camera, which isn't the case. Anyways, Daquan goes to my channel trailer, which, lo and behold, shows my face and almost immediately starts roasting me. Look at this nigga. You're sitting on your bed, scrolling through your phone, and you like just passing you by. You keep procrastinating. Look at this, the nerd fro and everything. But that doesn't. Okay, but like having a fro doesn't. isn't bad. Like I have a fro. Like, what? Like, why? Okay, bro. This is like so. This is just dumb. He does. Okay, no homo. No homo. But he really doesn't look that bad. Like, I feel like niggas just over exaggerate. Oh, you want to talk about hair, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Take the do rag off. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just figured since he was talking about hair, you, you wouldn't mind taking the do rag off. Uh... So take the do rag off. Go ahead, man. Take it off. Yep. I got the nerd fro. Let's see what you got under there. There we Take go. The damn do rag. That's the thing, because y'all niggas go through life thinking that looks are subjective. So you go through life with the nerd fro and shit like that. Even when I wore the virginity rock shit, I didn't wear this fucking tie dye bullshit, nigga. You got the nerd fro and shit like that. Of course, nigga. All you gotta do is cut that bullshit off, nigga. Turn that shit into dreads. Turn this into some braids or something. Do something different with it. You got the. I hate how everyone has to get braids or dreads. Like it's so fucking annoying. Like I get, I get told all the time, just like, oh, you just get dreads or get braids. How about you shut the fuck up? Like, seriously, just shut up. Please. Just shut the fuck up. 
like stick an anal bead up your ass or something like shut just shut up like i hate that shit bro it's so annoying bro like i i get told all the time you should just make get some dreads or some shit when i had dreads when i made when i got myself dreads them shits look ugly as hell my hair is not meant for dreads i just i promise you that my hair is not meant for dreads i hate having dreads because like i i like them for a while but it just it, it, they did not look good at all I don't know. Also, you probably don't even shower that much. Sh like, come on, nigga. Bro, you don't get bitches. He gotta be weird. The nigga ain't even ugly like that. Well, I don't know, because this is all blurry. It looked like he don't really shape his mustache or nothing like that. <clears throat> Thick eyebrows. Them shits probably look terrible. <clears throat> you literally just said it looked blurry. How do you know if it looks blurry? That doesn't even make any sense. What is he... Yeah, this is like this is why I haven't watched a Daquan video in like a long time because this nigga just over exaggerates shit and he just said the shit was blurry so he doesn't know. Do you have a better one that I can see his face more? I want to see what this nigga actually look like, bro. Here. We no wonder why, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. No wonder why, motherfucker. But he like not only is it like two years ago, but he's literally proving his point that like conventionally black nerds don't get bitches at all. They get called ugly, and if they, they do anything, you know, they just look weird. The ugly people just look weird doing anything. Like when I when that kid did a backflip back in the day when I was in school, like that nobody looked. Everyone looked at him as like a, a fucking weirdo or some shit. Like it's just I don't know. Like it's just it's kind of sad, but it's like. I feel like we all we just live in a shallow ass world. Bitches, nigga. The fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? What bitch looking at a nigga like this, bro? The fuck out it. The fuck out it. This dumb ass shit. Literally is agreeing. What the fuck wrong with this nigga? How are you? How do you disagree with a point and also agree with the point at the same time? That's just crazy to me. Of course. Bitches ain't gonna flock to this nigga. Now, I ain't gonna lie, he kinda cooked me. And I already know what y'all are thinking. Me, personally, I would not take that level of disrespect. I know, I know, I gotta get him back. But just, just say he's bald, bro. Just say the nigga's bald. It's that easy. Honestly, I'm not interested in all of that. What would roasting him back really solve? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna have to be the bigger man on this one and walk away. What I would say if I was a bitch ass nigga. I know you're not gonna fall. I'm not <laughs> Raspy voice ass nigga. Nigga sound like he got a garbage disposal stuck down his throat. You sound like you chain smoke a pack of new ports and gargle with Hennessy every morning. This okay. nigga sound like the thug nigga from Daddy's Little Girls. Do yourself a favor, Monty. Live. Sounding like you deep throat kazoos and shit. <laughs> Rise from Monster Zinc sounding ass nigga. <laughs> And don't think I forgot about that sorry excuse you call a hairline. Hairline shooting from half court looking ass. Vegeta without the widow's people. Oh, he's not bald? Yeah, that's just way, that's really far back. I ain't for a lot of you. Before I even, before I even say anything, I'm gonna just show my hair. Oh, shit. I'm not even gonna put it, I'm not even gonna put it back. Not too bad. I'd say it's pretty good, but I like my fro. I like, I like having a fro. I hate having like, I, I, didn't, I don't know, bro. I never liked twists, but yeah, this is this is you know, this is my fro here. Before I say before I start talking shit, but his shit is way far back, bro. That shit is way way far back. I was blessed with like, you know, just like a long hair. I was like, this is as far as it goes for me. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty fucking normal. I ain't gonna lie to you. Pete Caroline having ass, cold Bioko, third form freezer, plasma TV. Nah, cook this nigga, bro. Cook this nigga. Talk about my afro. Fuck out of here. You keep, keep, keep cooking this nigga, bro. Chain wearing fried chicken, chicken and biscuit, and biscuit and eating monkey, eating bamboo. Oh, hell, that's the wrong script. Oh, shit. Um, uh. Kelly Pad forehead having ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's enough. Hey. Juan, you my nigga. But damn, you can't listen to save your life. <sighs> All right, this has been going on long enough. Let's wrap this up. All right, so I said it before and I'll say it again. The conversations that are had on the internet, specifically on Twitter, every three to six months, they usually look something like, black girls love nerdy guys. You guys are just weird and dusty. Or some variation of those words is dishonest. Well, why do you say that? Why do I say that? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. I'll tell you why I say that. Because when these conversations are had and the nerdy dudes start popping up to defend themselves from the slew of insults such as dusty, ashy, weird, etc., one thing inevitably happens. The nerdy men in the comments always end 
end up getting gaslit. The gaslighting <laughs> never stops within conversations like these. I touched on a few of the ways people within these conversations gaslight nerdy men, such as saying, y'all were just weird, or that didn't happen to me, so it couldn't happen to y'all, or just straight up telling you that what you said happened to you in school, such as being bullied or being made fun so of much. viciously for being an anime, didn't happen. This actually happened to me under my very own Twitter clip that I posted when I uploaded the video the first time. I got a plethora of quote tweets, but there was one. Oh yeah, there was also a situation in my school back in like, I'm trying to remember, it was like way back in the day. And like, I had this kid that he like, he, he was, I was friends with this kid on the bus. He like gunned him and shit. I don't, I don't remember if it was on the bus. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember specifically what I said. Cause like, he, he, I'm, I think it was on the bus. Cause I used to talk to him all the time. And like, he like gunned him all the time. And like, he had like some, you know, autism to him. So like, he really like didn't understand social norms and shit. So obviously he was easily like vulnerable to shit. But yeah, that kid was like bullied so much to the point where like, you know, he removed himself from the world. And like, that shit was just fucking sad and shit. Like they was always teasing him and bullying him for liking anime and shit. It was just like, ah, I'll never forget that kid. That shit was that shit was sad. I ain't gonna lie, that shit made me depressed. One in particular that I decided to entertain. Women love people who are passionate about something and share it in a healthy manner. Women don't love people with this kind of attitude. It's not the nerd part that's holding you back. It's definitely something else. That's bullshit. Completely. I responded with, define this kind of attitude. Absolutely. You made an entire video talking about how women don't like nerds. That is very false. You gave evidence as your experiences, which is your experiences. Also, as you can see from replies, women do not in fact like this the only people agreeing are other men now as you can see this man immediately discounts the experiences of me and other dudes who went through the same thing as i did labeling it as evidence in quotation marks as to use that word loosely he then counters my experiences with his own evidence with that evidence being wait for it the experiences of other women hey that's a bullshit so i just hate how it's like it's always just like oh if it didn't happen to me it didn't happen to you type of thing like it's just it's so annoying and it's just like it's just so easy to deflect too i responded by clarifying what my full video was about as i quickly realized that most if not all of the people quote tweeting my clip did not watch the full video i then posed a question to deontay i asked why are my and the other men that agree with me experiences discounted and rejected but the women in the replies that had experiences contrary to mine accepted what makes our experiences less credible to which he responds with to answer both spoiler alert he doesn't the nerdiness is part of a person. Women slash people are attracted to people as whole. You say that nerds are unattractive. Well, what makes you unattractive? You can say physically, but that's clearly not the case with nerds. We exist in spectrum, not a vacuum. Nigga, what the fuck? This nigga's. What does that even mean? Not a vacuum. What is. What? What is that? <laughs> uh, I mean, I get the spectrum part, but what the hell? The vacuum part. I'm. I. The, you lost me at the vacuum part. The entire response had nearly nothing to do with the questions I just asked. I asked the simple question: Why are our nerdy men experiences rejected, but other people's experiences, women and men who got coochie from being a nerd, accepted wholesale? I didn't ask about attractiveness or what women are attracted to or whatever else he had just typed. He didn't have an actual answer to my question, so he just started typing, not even thinking about what I had just asked or even acknowledging the fact that he's doing the. I feel like that's with a lot of Twitter arguments and. Like, cause that's like, I feel like people just yap just to yap because like they just feel offended in this type of way. So they just have to like prove their point just by yapping even more. I feel like that's just, I feel like that's literally the nutshell of Twitter. Like they get into an argument and it's just like niggas just yapping just to yap. <laughs> cause they just get offended by something or they feel like a triggered sort of way. The exact thing that I was asking about in my question. Seriously, this nigga has the nerve to say, You say that nerds are unattractive. Well, what makes you unattractive? You can say physically, but that's clearly not the case with nerds. And then in the very next sentence say, We exist in spectrum, not a vacuum. Is this nigga serious? Now, I know this is like my, oh, I don't know, fourth or fifth time saying this, but I have to say it again just so I can get my point across. Do you see what I mean when I say that this topic is dishonest? Rather, the conversations surrounding this topic are dishonest. Niggas will try and gas like you in real time when you talk about this. They will work overtime trying to tell you that what happened to you when you were younger didn't happen or that it happened for different reasons, completely negating whatever it was you just said. At times, even contradicting the 
themselves just to prove a point. Case in point, this individual here. But there's another person in all of this who made some conflicting statements. Oh yeah, it ain't over yet, Daquan. Bring that ass right back here, boy. When Daquan posted a clip of him popping off when I admitted that I was ugly, a couple of people quote tweeted the clip and made some comments that Daquan wasn't particularly fond of. All due respect, Daquan looks like a pookie adjacent before he opens his mouth. And does he have tattoos? Yes! But the issue I have here is that non-black women mostly accept nerdy black men for who they are. But you have to change or improve for black women. All due respect, we all know that they're not fucking with you because you're a nerd. They fucking with you because of your aesthetic, which is the opposite of nerdy. It's the nerdy aesthetic, not interests, that has always made us unattractive. It's not as simple as don't be ugly. After a couple of tweets, he decided to make a short video responding to these comments. Hey look, y'all niggas need to chill with this pookie and ray ray bullshit cause like... I ain't gonna hold y'all niggas, it's starting to sound real gay. And it's kind of racist. Like, nigga, my name is Daquan. That's black enough. Like, that's ghetto enough. Secondly, y'all niggas keep talking about my aesthetic. Oh, man, it's just because of your aesthetic. Just because you got the aesthetic of a bitch. Whoa, 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 Daquan. Let's not be so dismissive about the people calling your aesthetic into question. I recall you saying something about this very topic in your response to me. Y'all niggas can sit there and say that I'm a nerd because I watch. Well, I told y'all niggas, though. I, I don't. I've never gotten called a nerd. Like, I just. I told you. I don't think I got the look of a nerd. But when other niggas- What? You literally proved this entire point! I- I hate this dude. I hate this dude so much, bro. This nigga is just a contra- He's just a walking contradiction. I- I swear to God, bro. This is not- Bro, how did you do that? You don't fit the nerd aesthetic, and this is part of the reason why you have an easier time with women, despite your nerdy interests and hobbies. Now it's a problem? You, you literally had to change your whole look to get women. Like, you have tattoos, bro. You have muscles, like- like obviously you gonna you're gonna get the bitches like because you change yourself like I don't I don't know dude this entire point is literally just like you have to change yourself in order to you know get women you know what I'm saying like it's like for for nerdy black dudes to get women they have to change themselves in a certain type of way and heavenly controller was a good example I'm not quite because like he looked a lot different back in the day into now you even straight up <clears throat> admit that you have the hood nigga pookie and ray ray aesthetic in another tweet you got the street nigga shit going for you so it's a bit different at the end of the day literally bro his entire boy have i done some shit in the street yes do i fit the aesthetic yes but i'm not a street nigga by far i don't embrace a single thing i've done in the street i denounce it i try my hardest to let it be known that is not what i am he did it again he got mad at somebody <laughs> for making a point only to prove their point later daquan what's going on so let me break down <laughs> Firstly, the eternal gaslighting. As I've just displayed, niggas on the other side of this conversation will stop at nothing to invalidate your experiences, tell you what happened and you didn't actually happen, and straight up contradict themselves just to prove you wrong and argue with you. This sounds like the most black community shit ever. Like you go through something and you get fucking gaslighted to hell. <laughs> this just sounds like a black people thing. My mother. Anyways, I'm gonna skip that point. Something that never ceases to amaze me. Now, the second half of the plot of Nerdy Black Men is something that I haven't covered in depth yet, but I'll attempt to now. But before I do so, I want to make. Can we? No, dude. No. No. I'm trying to be horny right now. I just, I just want to watch a video. Point that I'm making a distinction between nerdy black men for a reason. Okay. I want to see this nigga's folder, bro. What is this USB? Because he be having these butt videos on on everything. <laughs> <laughs> the struggles that I mentioned in reference to nerds are things that nerds of all different backgrounds go through. However, there exists a strange dichotomy when it comes to nerdy black men. There exists a, what I like to call, swag component that comes with being a nerdy black man. In other words, you may be able to be a nerd, but you damn sure better not look like one. This is something I've been hinting at throughout my entire video. It's why having the controller couldn't be that dude with a small afro, glasses, and acne, according to the Quan. He had to be that dude with the blonde tip dreads and a full beard. And a massive YouTube following. <laughs> Throwing some jewelry and some long ass feet holy fuck it's why my afro got to be classified as the nerd fro because not nerdy black dudes don't have afros it's why i should cut that shit off and turn that shit into some dreads or some braids or something it's why and i know some of my fellow nerdy black dudes have been through this when you spoke properly back in the day you got accused of talking white or hell if you did things such oh my god bro i hated this shit that was i forgot all about that i hated that was like the most situations i've ever been through was because you sound white you act white like you're just you you're probably like a fucking oreo i got this shit on a daily fucking basis and it was the most annoying thing i i hated it bro that shit was so annoying i was just like this is how i was raised by my parents like 
like, <laughs> but I was hyperventilating sometimes. I was just like, huh? <laughs> this is how I was raised, bro. Like, damn. Now my parents are ghetto. My parents, my parents used to be like, <clears throat> ghetto is all to hell, right? My parents used to be like ghetto all to hell, cause like that's the life they live. But like, you know, once my dad worked his ass off, you know, got us into a suburb area all the time. I mean. I mean, my, my area was just different. Like, I just had a different preference of, like, how I talked and, you know, just how I was raised, basically. I mean, just to summarize it, like, I don't know. Like, it's just, it's just dumb. But I just hate the fact that, like, how you're raised is just considered fucking white, you know? I, I just I just think that's fucking stupid, bro. And that's why a lot of black girls back in the day did not like me at all. Like, I could promise you that. I could promise you that shit. Like, I swear to God, if any bitch watches my video from high school and, and just says, you're not, you're, you're lying, you're, you're not, you're, you're a fucking liar. I'm about to call you out. I swear to God, if you watch my shit and you tell me you're lying, bro, I'm about to call you out, bro. Because like, I know every, oh my God, I swear to God, if any black bitch watches this that I went to school with, you are a fucking liar. I swear to God, bro. If, oh boy, I I, I will backpedal this shit to fucking hell. Oh my god, bro. Because y'all, every time, bro. And the thing is, I wasn't even, like, trying to, like, get with any black girls back in the day. It was always, like, the conversation being brought up, like, oh, like, I would date you, but you just sound white. Also, your name is Blake. That was, oh my god. The Blake part got to be. I was like, that's what mom named me. What's wrong with Blake? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, and you know what's crazy, bro? Oh, um, I, I can't even say Blake Sheldon because he's kind of like, I mean, he, he is kind of, no, no, I can't say his name. No, what, what, why the fuck? Blake Sheldon's white, right? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. No, he's white. He's white. I, I think he's white. I don't know. I, I was trying to bring an example, but I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to just cut that entire point out. But, um, yeah, no, like the fact that both of us was just like, oh, your name is Blake. So that's why I'm not going to, yeah, don't find you attractive at all. That shit was like the worst part to me. I was just like. Really, really. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like I'll, I, my, my my whole entire family has like normal like names. To be honest, even my dad does. Like his name was literally like Jake, you know. Like even a white person is named Jake. Like my dad was named like Jake. So yeah, my dad had like a white name too. And also to be fair, like we had kind of like we had like a little Irish on our family. So like we did like my grand great grandpa was like a white person. So I don't know. That might have been it, but it's just like, dude, I'm still black, bro. I still got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still black. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of my ancestors and shit, I'm still black. Such as wear certain clothes or listen to certain music such as rock, metal, pop, or nearly anything that wasn't current or popular music, current and popular black music, I should add, you got accused of acting white, as these are things that are deemed uncool or lack swag. I remember hearing one guy talk about how he got made fun of for wearing a Bad Brains Band t-shirt. He got told, that's that white people music. Do, do y'all know that Bad Brains is a band made up of black dudes? That's how stupid the insult was. It's why people constantly use Michael B. Jordan as an example of women. Yep, I got bullied. For, well, not bullied, but I got teased for what, listening to Skillet, Three Day Grace, Breaking Benjamin. If anybody knows what Breaking Benjamin is, that these are all like rock bands and stuff. I think Skillet's also like a Christian rock band. I don't, I'm not too entirely too sure or metal. I don't, I don't know. Um, <sighs> Black Thieves. I think that's their name. I'm trying to think that that might be their names. Um, yeah, that might be. That's all I know for now. It's just those four. Like, yeah, I, I, I had some hip hop and rap in there too for a little while, but I was just like, my my whole taste in music was very like mixed it was very like it was like all over the place it was alternative i would say men loving nerdy black men seemingly ignoring the fact that michael b jordan is a celebrity with a high net worth and a modeling background yes and he's also very uh, no homo also very attractive and whenever he does something everyone agrees with it seriously niggas using celebrities to prove their point of see women like x kind of guys will never not be tiring even daquan did the same thing but you know what's crazy about michael b jordan even he went through what a great deal of nerdy black men went through back in the day he got made fun of and called corny for his hobbies and interests you've seen the articles you've watched the clip but just mm -hmm. in case you haven't we got michael b Jordan, oh i've seen this director and the star of creed 3 and you know we know each other we go way back all the way to chad science in newark okay oh, the corny kid, right? 
<laughs> no. I went to school with Michael B. Jordan at a point in life. And to be honest with you, we teased him all the damn time because his yeah. name was Michael Jordan. And then he See? Like he I you know what's crazy though? Michael B. Jordan is like a perfect example of everything about this video. He literally had to change himself. Like, look at this man, bro. He looks like a stud muffin. No homo. But he had to change himself, bro. That's crazy. He is, he fits a perfect example of somebody who has to change himself, bro. That is actually sad. I mean, it is what it is because, you know, we live in a shallow ass world. You know, I mean, men and women are shallow too. We all shallow. So it is what it is. But like, he had to change himself. He literally proved this entire point. His existence literally proves everyone's point. It's crazy to me. Also, would come to school with headshots. And back then, we would make fun of him. Like, what you gonna do with your little stupid headshots? Like, and now look at <laughs> him. And now look at him. He got us like panther money. Well, you're not corny anymore. <laughs> See. So the person that See, he there constantly we go. uses an example during these conversations went through the same thing that many nerdy black men went through. Yet and still, some of these people will look at you dead in your face and tell you that it didn't happen to you. Anyways, I could be wrong. Exactly, you, So bro. correct me if I am. But I don't really see nerdy white dudes or nerds of other backgrounds needing swag or style to back them up when it comes to attracting nerdy white girls or nerdy black girls for that matter but that's neither here nor there like nerdy black men do when i see nerdy couples out in the wild sometimes it's usually some scruffy or lanky looking white dude who looks like this and dresses like this with some equally nerdy chick by his side. But this is nearly never the case with nerdy black men. As a nerdy black dude, you need style points. You can't afford to be a nerdy black dude with a nerd fro, no beard, rocking some Converse, and maybe nope. some Vans with a Yu Yu Hakusho shirt on, brother. That ain't gonna cut it. That's how you get called corny, lame, and weird. weird. It's like the dude in one of the tweets directed at Daquan said. It's the nerdy aesthetic, not interests, that has always made us unattractive. So the plight of nerdy black men is this. The eternal gaslighting, perpetual contradictions, the rampant denial of experiences, and the requirement of style points. As long as these things continue to plague this topic, it will forever remain dishonest. Nerds and non-nerds alike will continue to talk <laughs> past each other, and this topic will continue to get brought up again every three to six months give or take. And just in case you still think I'm wrong, here's a tweet that nearly follows the exact blueprint that I laid out earlier in the video that's only a couple days old. Most male anime fans are ugly and weird. That's why we don't want you all. Niggas who watch anime over anime niggas. Trust me. And thus we come full circle back to what I said in the first video. Say it with me fellas. Women, be honest, you do not like nerds. You like conventionally attractive dudes who just so happen to be in the nerdy stuff. So, after everything that's been said, tell me. Am I still wrong? Hell no, you're not wrong. You is absolutely right. Six oh months, God. this video is finally done. This video was not supposed to take this long. This video wasn't even supposed to be this long in the first place. I just had so much stuff to say about this topic. And then as I was working on it, I kept finding more and more stuff to say. And eventually it snowballed until you got a 50 minute video. This was a great ass video, man. Great ass video. So yeah, and on top of that, life was just throwing stuff at me. I got busy and six months later, here we are. As always, please leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Was I cooking? Was there anything you had a problem with? Stuff like that. You all know I love reading your comments. And even while I was working on this video, I was still doing my best to heart every new comment that I seen on all of my videos. I'm glad people are getting some enjoyment out of my videos. And since this video did take about six months to make, you know, go ahead and uh, throw a like a nigga's way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have some shorter, easier to edit, more fun videos up sooner than six months. I can tell you that right now. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Video's over. Brother, you cooked a lot. I should subscribe. I don't know why I haven't subscribed to your channel yet. Yeah. You cooked, bro. You cooked, man. You, yeah, nah. You, you honestly, you perfectly said everything. That I wanted to say. It's like niggas that say like something good in the shower, but it just doesn't sound good when you like speak to somebody else <laughs> type of situation. But yeah, man, I hooey, bro. To get back on the other point where they were talking about like, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was at one point when Daquan was saying like, oh, like you would f a bitch even if she had like bad teeth or whatever or some or some shit with OnlyFans or all that because niggas are desperate. I was just like saying like that's not true because like. I've met a girl who liked anime, but, like, she kind of was, like, she had an Instagram, and she made, like, really, really deceiving, like, photos. Like, she was, like, anorexic or some shit. I don't, I don't know. Like, she had, like, I, I, she was very, very skinny. And when I saw her in real life, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, like, 
it's cool that you watch anime, but like it, it, to me, I'm, I'm a shallow dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like if I if I if I see something on Instagram that I like, I like it. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw her in real life, it, she looked completely different. Like she looked like very skinny. She looked frail. She looked like she could barely even walk. And I was just like, oh. And this was back in like high school. Like this was this was like way way back in like high school. Like this was like way back. Like like I think like like sophomore year of my high school yeah sophomore year or junior year around those points but yeah that baby girl did not look like what she did in her instagram it was whew. oh boy that shit was a media turn off i after after i saw it in real life i was just like i was stunned i was fucking frozen i was just like oh shit <laughs> was scared for dear life because like i was just like damn bro i think i might have cooked i i think i might have cooked myself here <laughs> so when daquan was like saying like oh y'all would y'all dead men are desperate they would fuck anything that is so untrue that is so untrue i that is not true at all but um i'm gonna get out of here for the day man um yeah, that's it for today's video. Subscribe to Flapjack, uh, Flap Top. I almost said Flapjack. What the fuck? Uh, Flap Top Chicken. Um, this was a really, really good ass video. I'm sorry if this reaction was so long. I just had a lot of. I think I had some stuff to say too on my end because, like, from my experience, uh, yeah, no, being a black nerd has not gotten me any bitches at all, <laughs> at all. Especially having a name with Blake in it doesn't help at all. <laughs> A thousand percent has not helped at all. And acting white hasn't helped at all. Even though I was raised that way by two black parents that raised me to be that way, even though it's called acting white. Like I I don't I don't I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna head out for today. Like, comment, hit the notification if you guys appreciate today's reaction. And subscribe to Flaptop Chicken and um, you know, watch his other videos as well. Down description down below. Peace.